Walter's the striker, I'm the grappler. My left hand is going to seek towards his head. He lets it go over the top. He posts, he circles. Left leg pivots. Ooh. I'm here with Walter. He came down to train pad work with me today. We're going to look at ways of defending the takedown. So Walter starts in his stance. He's going to play the role of the striker. I'm going to play the role of the grappler. I'm going to try and get in on his body or his legs to take him down. And what Walter's going to use is a series of frames and structures to stop me grabbing hold of him. So we do our standard striking. So we're working our long range shots. And at any point I like, I can move my head to the right to simulate that I'm going to try and take him down. As I move my head to the right and step towards Walter, he puts his left hand against my neck. And that acts as a frame to stop me getting in and grabbing his leg or his waist. He then steps to his right to get out of my way and lets me walk straight into that right hand. So he's using his longest arm, his left arm, to keep me away, step out of the way and then follow up with the cross. One, two, one. So I change levels, I step in, he posts, he circles and then right hand as I fall into that space. So that's the first option. Second option is I try and move that barrier. So Walter goes with a one-two, puts his left hand against my neck. I push it up and now he's going to use his forearm against my neck here to brace like that. Keeping this other hand up so I can't hit him. And he's going to try and control my bicep here because that allows him to monitor this arm and stops me hitting him with this arm. He steps to his right, steps to your right, okay. and then right punch. So same thing, he's just using the forearm and the bicep control. It's called a wedge on this lead arm and the rear hand is a bicep control. He's hooking over, one, two. So I start to move in, I get rid of this arm. He uses this wedge shape to stop me. I hook him in the head, he controls the bicep, steps to his right and whacks me with that one. So the third option is, this left arm is going to go down towards his leg to try and grab his leg or up towards his head to headlock him. We've got two different options there. One, two. So I move in, I push up, he wedges, I hook him in the head, he gets bicep control. If I take my left arm and drive it down towards his leg, he's going to push it all the way through. Right punch again. So he's redirecting that arm. That left arm is trying to find a gap. He's trying to grab his leg or grab his head. He's going to redirect it through again. So I move in. Wedge, bicep control, stop. So that is if it goes down. See how he follows it, go back up. And then the punch. If it's uh, going upwards, he's, no, nope, stay on the bicep. All right. My hand's gonna go towards his head. He's gonna let it go up, duck underneath, take back control. And now he's got back control. <laughs> I thought he's gonna suplex me there. I'm glad he didn't, I would have died. So back control, and then he can either push me away, lift me, dump me, do different takedowns. Let's do that one again, one, two. So I move in, he posts, he covers the hook, goes to the bicep control. My left hand is going to seek towards his head. He lets it go over the top and now he's on back control. He's got loads of options that he can do from here. So that's the next option. The final one in this series is my left hand manages to sneak underneath his right armpit. So I move in, he puts the hand there, he wedges. Now, instead of him able, uh, able to control my bicep, this hand shoots underneath his armpit. And what I'm trying to do, go back, is stay there, get my hands together so I can start to break his posture, start to get my hips in, bump him and take him down. So he's still gonna use the left arm against the neck to keep me away, but he's gonna whizzer over on the right hand. One, two. So post, wedge. Cool. This left hand going underneath the armpit. Now, he's got a whizzer on, and the whizzer is a tight overhook. If he stays in front of me, I might be able to pick his leg. So what he's going to do, go back, go back, go back, go back, <laughs> is take a big step to your side with your right leg, and then left leg circles, and look. He's got rid of me again. So he's using the wedge and the whizzer combined to eject me and go back to long range striking. Remember, Walter's the striker, I'm the grappler. Let's do that one again, one, two. So I change levels, push up, he goes to the wedge. Try and hit him in the head, maybe he blocks it, so I drive underneath. He steps out and away with his right leg. Left leg pivots. Ooh. 
and then he goes for the finish. So that's different ways of defending the takedown using the lead hand. Thank you. Thank you.